owner of EOW, Travis Neely, and welcome to Wednesday Night Mayhem! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episodic episode of EOW Wednesday Night Mayhem. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize, we're on late uh, due to a lot of personal stuff going on, so we ha had to go do a live late, but we are live in Albuquerque, New Mexico. But tonight, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Billy Bob's in action tonight, uh, but right now, tonight, we still have Billy Bob here with us. Billy Bob, how are you doing? Good, sir. Well, thank you for asking how I'm doing tonight there, Michael Miner. I'm glad you're trying to be nice to Billy Bob. You're trying to be so nice. Well, I won't say anything negative about you tonight on commentary, but that's another story. It, you still get beat at Unstoppable, Michael Miner, and it's all going down, and you're going down, and you will go down, and T-Rex is going to kill you next week. <laughs> But what's up, everybody? I'm glad to be here in EOW, and I am been prepared to beat Willie Joe in a steel cage match later tonight. I can't wait to beat him down and take him out, and he won't be the magician anymore. <laughs> Just like I'm going to beat you down, Michael Miner. <laughs> We'll see about that tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But our first match, we have some one-on-one -on -one action. We have Ron Shirley from the Lizard Lick Towing, the tag team champions, taking on Josh Youngblood of Fry Daddies. Uh, Billy Bob, your prediction for this match? Well, I'm going with Ron Shirley to win this match. You know, this is a preview of what we're going to get at Unstoppable between the uh, Lizard Lick Towing, the uh, two-time Lizard Lick Towing champions, tag champions of EOW versus, versus the Fry Daddies. It's going to be epic to see that match. But, yeah, for a little preview here, I'm going Ron Shirley, Lizard Lick Towing. Yeah, because they're awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just let you know that uh, TWF Unstoppable will be live uh, Sunday, September 19th. Uh, is live on pay-per-view. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get in this match here uh, as we fast forward this thing. Um, all the the night through. I beat you down. Yes, we all know about that, but we'll have to see how that all goes down at the pay-per-view but ladies and gentlemen i don't know but uh just let you guys know that the um tournament will be starting after soul survivor it'll be the scars invitational i just got word that damian cross has been added to the invitational uh for twf uh, after a great Royal Rumble match, um, we also have been hearing that some stars from FBXW will be involved. Um, we don't know who's going to be involved yet, but we will see and find out uh, very soon in the coming weeks. But and also, we know that um, no matter who wins or loses the match at, un at Unstoppable, we might see. Um, maybe Billy Bob being in the tournament, but we don't know yet. We'll just have to wait and see till after Unstoppable. On the road to the big pay-per-view Soul Survivor, it'll be Team EOW versus Team TWF, but uh, as we're waiting for this match to get started here, um, I guess our guy does not know how to... Okay, whoops, here we go. Okay, we're right here, but ladies and gentlemen, let's get into our first match. Some singles action. Michael Champ, take it away. Mm -hmm. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, making his way to the ring with his partner. He is one half of the EOW World Tag Team Champions, Ron Shirley. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Ron Shirley from Lizard towing with Bobby Bentley. Um, these two men will be facing off against Fry Daddies at Unstoppable for the EOW World Tag Team titles. What a great match that's going to be, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, I just want to let you know, well, after Michael Champ uh, talks with this part. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing their opponents. He is one half of the Fry Daddies with Brandon Fry. Josh Youngblood yes ladies and gentlemen Josh Youngblood and Brandon Fry will be getting their shot at the EOW World Tag Team titles but ladies and gentlemen I just want to let you know next week's episode of EOW Wednesday Night uh, Mayhem will be Thursday yes ladies and gentlemen we're going to have an EOW Thursday Night Mayhem uh, due to some personal issues going on uh, within the household here, here at the studio um, some stuff that's going on but ladies and gentlemen we will give you a Thursday night show next week it's a special edition here we go bell rings and Josh Youngblood going right for the knee there of uh, Ron Shirley a nice kick there I'm surprised he didn't take off his jacket there yeah it's like why is he not why is he wearing the skirt and the jacket I don't know, but ladies and gentlemen, we will um, have to change his attire there, so pretty soon, but look at this, Josh Youngblood taking control here of Ron Shirley. It's and are they former members of the Aces and Eights? I guess so, as you can see on their uh, back of their shirts. Um, they have aces and eights uh, shirts on the on their backs. Look at this, Josh Alexander with whatever the hell that was. Goes for pin one and only get one count. Come on, Michael Miner, it's not Josh Alexander, it's Josh Sorry. Youngblood. Josh Youngblood. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I always get used to Josh Alexander uh, from Impact Wrestling. Maybe someday we can get him involved in the Scars Invitational uh, Invitational uh, Tournament that we're going to have. We're going to have eight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be right back. Billy Bob, take over. Well, thank goodness. I'm glad he's gone, ladies and gentlemen. So we got Ron Shirley there. He was uh, put pressure on the neck of Josh Youngblood. He picks uh, Josh Youngblood up, and uh, that was... Oh, a choke slam for just picked him up and choke slammed him. Ron Shirley did. That was insane move. But Josh Youngblood now is in the uh, advantage of uh, Josh Youngblood here. And uh, Josh Youngblood was going for a move on uh, Ron Shirley, but that didn't happen. Ron Shirley reversed, put uh, Josh Youngblood in the corner here, and now threw Josh Youngblood right across the ring. And now Ron Shirley now picks up Josh Youngblood, puts him on the rope there and uses the rope and slings Josh Youngblood back into the mat but we go for a pin here Ron Shirley just got one there but now Ron Shirley tries to uh, pick Josh Youngblood up goes for the midsection kick to Josh Youngblood in the midsection goes up for a power bomb but reversed by Josh Youngblood hit punching Ron Shirley in the face there but Ron Shirley's like, nope, you're going back in the corner, dude. But uh, Josh Youngblood reverses that and now hits, punches Ron Shirley in the back with some punches there and goes for an inverted DDT on Ron Shirley. Here, count one, two, just a two count there from Josh Youngblood. Josh Youngblood now looks like he's going for his finisher on Ron Shirley. Could they get the win here? Could he get this big win on Ron Shirley? Oh, and what a move. Can it give a uh, ref? He's count, come on, but the ref gets distracted by Bob Brantley here. No pinfall here, ladies and gentlemen. Bobby Brantley, ref's distracted here. Ref said, get down, Bobby Brantley. Ron Shirley took advantage of that and, and uh, put uh, young Josh Youngblood into the mat there. Uh, back body slam now punches to Josh Youngblood from Ron Shirley. 
Ron Shirley now stomps on the gut there of uh, Josh Youngblood. Now Ron Shirley's uh, hit a uh, clothesline. Now Ron Shirley's going for his uh, special move, his finisher here. What is it? It's a... Oh, it looked like like a rock bottom move. Goes for the pin. One, two. Oh, a two count. Only two uh, for Ron Shirley there. Uh, Josh Youngblood kicks out. What a match we're having to start off Wednesday night mayhem. Josh Youngblood now punches Ron Shirley into the face right there. Almost knocked his glasses off. Oh. Josh Youngblood now laid out on the mat. Ron Shirley going Ooh, for nice a, uh, what's he going for? Oh, oh into the corner. Line. Oh. Josh, Josh Youngblood just went for like a Baron Corbin. If you guys don't know, Baron Corbin uses that move. And whoa, he was trying to go for like a reverse front DDT. But apparently, guess that didn't work out. Ron Shirley trying to take over this match here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, on EOW Wednesday Night Mayhem. You mean Happy Corbin? Yes, Happy Corbin, right? which I really don't care about him because he's really stupid in the WWE. So, yeah, like I really care. Ron Shirley with a nice reverse. Ooh. Oh. oh, Russian leg sweep right onto that corner there, right in the second. I'm shocked uh, Josh Youngblood's hat's still on. So, Lady Yum and Ron Shirley now uh, going, picking Josh Youngblood up, and uh, Josh Youngblood hits punches on Ron Shirley, and a knee buster there to Ron Shirley from Josh Youngblood. Jo Josh Youngblood looked like he was giving Bobby Brantley the finger there. That's what it looked like to me. Who knows, Lady Yum and Ron Shirley stomping on Josh Youngblood. Now, Ron Shirley, is he going for that, that bottom type move? Will he go for it? He's going for it again. Oh, I, like a, it was a rock bottom, like choke slam move. Is it over? One, two, only two. He, Josh Youngblood kicks out again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I have no clue where Michael Miner went. He must have went back to the bathroom. He's king of bathrooms. But anyway, uh, uh, Ron Shirley now kicking uh, Josh Youngblood to the back there on his back. Another choke slam. From Ron Shirley to Josh Youngblood, Ron Shirley, he's getting excited about this match tonight. Oh, and but it backfired, and a shoulder block there to uh, Ron Shirley, but Ron Shirley reverses it and uh, hits uh, hit the knee there to Josh Youngblood, and then now uh, Ron Shirley tried to do a bear hug. To Josh Youngblood, but Josh Youngblood's like, nope, and punches to the face to Ron Shirley, and a DDT, and Ron Shirley wow. is busted open. Is it over? Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Ooh, a nice reverse DDT type deal there from Josh Youngblood. Congratulations to Josh Youngblood with the victory. Look at that nice spitting, look like a spitting suplex there. And busted open Ron Shirley as well there, Michael Miner. But, man, what a match we had here to start off Wednesday night. Mayhem. This was an incredible match. Yes, but now was. this gives the advantage to the Fridays over Lizard Lick Toe. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your winners. Josh Youngblood. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, for the studio interruption here. But congratulations to Josh Youngblood on his victory here tonight on EOW Wednesday Night Mayhem. I guess we're just going to try to get into our next match, which is a eight women battle royal. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, I hope everybody enjoyed that opening match. And I just got word in my headset that this eight-woman battle royal is for the number one contendership for the EOW Women's Championship. Whoever wins this goes on and faces the EOW Women's Champion. That's why my girl Chelsea Diamond at Unstoppable. What a, yes. what, what this is gonna be awesome, Michael Meyer. Yes, it will be. We have Taylor Lover, Demi Dynamite, the former EOW Women's Champion Flair 
uh, Megan Malenko, Paige Adams. Um, we have, looks like, Samantha Garrett and Alexa Blackwolf, which is my pick to win this Battle Royal match because uh, I really think she deserves to get the number one contender shot at Unstoppable. So I hope she wins this here tonight on EOW Wednesday Night Mayhem. So, And if I had to pick, I'm going to pick Demi Dynamite to win this match and become number one contender, but she's nowhere near going to beat my my girl, my woman, Chelsea Diamond, the EOW Women's Champion. It's not happening. She's going to keep that belt forever, Michael Miner. Yeah, she did a very good job last week and beat Peggy Sue, which uh, I guess Travis Neely did not want to put Peggy Sue in this Battle Royal, so she is not in this Battle Royal here tonight. Well, wait a second. I must have forgot somebody here. Okay, we got Samantha Garrett. We got Paige Adams. T Taylor Lover. Megan Malenko. Demi Dynamite. Flair. I don't know who the hell that is and Alexa Black okay we'll find out more ladies and gentlemen I do apologize for the match card here uh, let me go over to the match card that the bot that the boss Travis Neely sent me I bet he's gonna be pretty pissed off like oh you shouldn't know what the dang thing is minor you, know you gotta get fired yeah it's fine if I get fired I get fired it's not like I can't take over EOW or TWF. That but means I'm the head announcer. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Get through all this crappy uh, stuff here. All this conversation on me and the boss. Well, hello there, Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea Green. Um, I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh! Sorry, I guess the video wasn't playing. Uh, so let's bypass all this. All right, here we go. So we're waiting for Michael Champ to take over for uh, announcing here, ladies and gentlemen. For, let's see who this is going to be. Looks like Taylor Lover is going to come out first. Wait for the belt. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a eight women's battle royal. The winner will be the number one contendership for the EOW Women's Championship at Unstoppable. Introducing opponent number one, Taylor Lover. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Taylor Lover here tonight. Oh, well, Crystal Michael Miner, since you can't get the participants right, Crystal Rush, I got sorry. in my headset. In my headset, I have the owner in my ear, and it's going to be Taylor Lover versus Demi Dynamite versus the debut of Crystal Rush versus Flair versus... Rachel Adams versus Megan Malenko versus Samantha Garrett and Alexa Blackwolf, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I cannot wait to see who's going to win this battle royale here tonight to determine the number one contender for the EOW Women's Championship at Unstoppable. Um, but I guess we're waiting for the next opponent here. Um, Thank you, Travis, for that, the owner of EOW. Yes, thanks to the boss, uh, Travis Neely. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing opponent number two, Demi Dynamite. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Demi Dynamite, a former TCW wrestler that really wants to get a chance, hopefully get a shot at the EOW World Women's Championship. Her and Taylor Lover have been on a really good tag team run. Uh, maybe hopefully in the near future we will see um, EOW women's tag team titles and I can see um, Demi Dynamite and Taylor Lover becoming the champions uh, but they would have a good feud between Flair and um, D'Angelo Russell in a great match but
So who do you have to win this, Michael Meyer? Um, I got Alexa Blackwolf, my girl, to win this. Uh, Battle oh, yeah. Royale. Whatever. All right, here we go with opponent number three. Let's see who it's going to be. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing opponent number three, making her TW or EOW debut, Crystal Rush. Crystal Rush, ladies and gentlemen, making her EOW Wednesday Night Mayhem debut here in EOW Wednesday Night Mayhem. Can welcome Crystal Rush. Can she be the one to become the number one contender? Remember what happened the last time with Jayona Daniels coming, uh, debuting in TWF and won the TWF Women's World Championship in the Triple Threat Match la uh, last month at Slamfest. Uh, so, can she be another shocker and come in here and win this match and then go on to um, Unstoppable this uh, in two and three weeks? From this Sunday, we'll have to see how this all goes down here tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, later tonight we will have the owner Travis Neely with us on comment, color commentary for the steel cage match. Um, apparently, uh, due to production having issues with the uh, tape, uh, some of the, the entrance got cut off. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing opponent number four, Flair. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you heard right, that the um, production crew must have had a glitch on the video uh, for the entrances for um, the for Willie Joe versus Billy Bob. So Willie Joe and Billy Bob will be inside the steel cage. Um, momentarily uh, do, uh, do apologize for the production crew uh, they were recording the show and apparently the match started to glitch uh, so we had to do it without uh, the entrances so we'll have to watch that from from when they're inside the steel cage so I do apologize for the uh, inconvenience for that match uh, later you gotta tonight. be kidding me Mike really well, it was not my doing. It was, something had to happen during the production tapings uh, for EOW Wednesday Night Mayhem yesterday. But uh, you need a fire. I won't fire them. They just had a tough time. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing opponent number five, Miss Big Eyebrow herself, Paige Adams. Oh, there, Michael Champ, I guess. He is right. Look at pa uh, Paige Adams with that weird-looking eyebrow. Dear God, well, no, cameraman, pay him away from her eyebrows. Dear God, I don't want to look at those big-ass eyebrows. It looks like she's got a unibrow right here in front of her, between the, both of her eyes. It's like, oof. Somebody needs to shave them eyebrows off. Yes, or even, or even uh, spread them out a little bit. You know what the owner should do? He should have a match with her versus somebody, and if she loses, she has to shave her eyebrow off. Mm, I don't know how that would look for her, but ladies and gentlemen, here comes the opponent number six. Um, we'll try to get through here with the tapings here. So uh, sometimes the entrances like to be a little delayed. But here comes opponent number six. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing opponent number six, Megan Malenko. Megan Malenko, ladies and gentlemen, making her way to the ring. Here in EOW Wednesday Night Mayhem, uh, as we're looking at uh, AEW... Uh, Dynamite looks like they're one a few nights away from uh, AEW All Out, and looks like it's John Moxley against a uh, uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling wrestler. Uh, so cannot wait to see um, that match up. But ladies and gentlemen, don't forget tomorrow night at 5 p.m. Central on AEW Slam Zone, we will be having the uh, prediction championship show. 
Uh, the winner of the prediction for AEW's All Out will be the champion for the prediction, will be the prediction cha heavyweight champion, um, which is going to be really awesome to see that. But we will see a poster later tonight or tomorrow afternoon. All right, here comes opponent number seven. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing opponent number seven, Samantha Garrett. Samantha Garrett, ladies and gentlemen, making her way to the ring. We will find out who's going to be. Uh, we already know number eight is going to be the last opponent here tonight for the number one contendership battle royal. And it looks like right now... Uh, JR is going to interview Chris Jericho. If Chris Jericho loses his match at All Out, he will no longer wrestle and he'll just be part of the color commentary team. But that would be a good match to see uh, MJF versus Jericho 3. No, 2, I guess, yeah. I guess we'll go ahead and fast forward. Here comes the last. Of opponent for this women's battle royal. I do apologize for this. These women's coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing opponent number eight, Alexa Blackwolf. Ladies and gentlemen, Alexa Blackwolf coming down to the ring. Can she become the number one contender for the EOW Women's Championship match at Unstoppable? What a great night that will be, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it looks like the intro for Unstoppable is in production right now. Uh, so we will be getting an intro for that. So how cool that will be uh, for that. Well, I hate to say this, Michael Miner. You're stupid Alexa Black Wolf. She going to be eliminated first. It's not happening. Okay. She going to be done. Okay. So I'm sorry about your woman. It's not happening. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with the eight women battle royal to determine the number one contender. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, every woman for herself. Yes, it is, ladies and gentlemen, every woman for herself. Uh, looks like somebody's trying to eliminate Megan Malenko. Oh, Crystal Rush trying to eliminate Megan Malenko, but no, it's a reverse there. And Flair trying to eliminate Demi Dynamite. Ooh, but Demi Dynamite with a reversal there. This is a great eight women's ta uh, eight women's battle royal, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I just got word from the owner of TWF that there, there will be an eight man battle royal. Uh, the winner of that match will get a shot at at Halloween Nightmare for the World's Heavyweight Championship because apparently we have a word. Oh, there goes Paige Adams has been eliminated. Paige Adams, well, first one to get eliminated. But well, goodbye we, to her. But ladies and gentlemen, we just heard word that there's a cryptic message. Oh, Crystal Rush has been eliminated. Oh, man. Crystal Rush got eliminated, ladies and gentlemen, her debut here in TWF or EOW. But ladies and gentlemen, um, I heard there was a cryptic message that was sent to me by an email from Horse. Uh, we will see what that cryptic message is from Horse at Monday Night Chaos. Let's see what that's all about. Oh, Mel Megan Malenko was almost eliminated right there. Yes, she was, but look at this. Oh, my God. Look. Oh, my God. Oh! Right to Demi Dynamite's throat there. Oh. Nice move there. Look at this. Looks like Taylor Lover's going to get eliminated here from from Flair. Because remember, Flair, uh, Taylor Lover, and Demi Dynamite have had a great feud can we see those four ladies be in a tag team title match in a near future? Well, we'll have to see what Travis Neely has to say uh, when we're going to see the tag titles for the women. 
But yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's Soul Survivor in November. It'll be Team EOW. Oh, there goes Demi Dynamite. Demi Dynamite has been eliminated. There went my pick. Oh, there goes Demi Dynamite with the elimination. Uh, but yeah, at Soul Survivor in November, in a couple months, it will be Team EOW versus Team WF, uh, TWF. Uh, so, what great stuff we're going to see with that. Oh, man, Alexa Blackwolf just took down Megan Malenko. And, oh, a nice face plant there from Megan Malenko to Alexa Blackwolf. I got to say, out of all of these women, Alexa Blackwolf is the only tallest one in this match. Oh, there goes Just Flair. Just she's your favorite there, Michael. Yep, Flair trying to eliminate t uh, Taylor Lover. Can Flair eliminate her? Oh, there goes Taylor Lover has been eliminated. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're down to the final four. Flair, Megan Malenko, Samantha Garrett, and Alexa Blackwolf. Which one of these four would become? Oh, there goes... Alexa Blackwolf has been eliminated. Yeah. <laughs> now, now we're down to the final three, so I guess I'm going to have to pick a new uh, pick here. I'm going to go with Samantha Garrett to win this. Uh, Battle Royal. Uh, Billy Bob, who do you predict is going to win this time with your pick being eliminated? I'm going with... Uh, I'm going with uh, Flair to win this because she's uh, been... She's having a good streak here in the past couple months here in, e in EOW. Oh, and there goes a, a Flair. Flair, Flair has been eliminated. I was just talking about her. Come on. <laughs> We're down to the final two. Samantha Garrett against Megan Malenko. Which one well, is Well, I'm going Megan Malenko here, Michael. My, Megan Malenko. Holy cow, Megan Malenko. I got to say, is one tall chick taller than Megan Malenko here, but... Can Samantha Garrett or Megan Malenko face? Oh, look at this. She's going for that. Ooh. I'm going Megan Malenko. The Malenko uh, cutter there from Megan Malenko to Samantha Garrett. Nice reversal for Samantha Garrett. These two ladies really want a chance at the EOW Women's Championship. Oh, look at this. There goes Samantha. Oh, there goes oh. Megan Malenko. Oh, what? Ma Megan Malenko has been eliminated. Wow, congratulations to Sam Samantha Garrett. What a match. Yes, as she will move on to Unstoppable to face Chelsea Diamond. Chelsea Diamond's got a good competitor coming her way there, Billy Bob. Well, she sure ain't going to win. I'm sorry. She's she's not going to win. Samantha Garrett is going to be a loser, just like everybody else and just like you, Michael Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Samantha Garrett. Samantha Garrett, ladies and gentlemen, with the victory here tonight. Can she be the next EOW Women's Champion? Or will we see um, Chelsea Diamond retain her title? Let's have to see how that all goes down. But ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, uh, let's see what the next match. Next match coming up next is Fatback Greasy versus Johnny B. Byrne. Uh, Fatback Greasy trying to get another victory um, in his record for the team um, because London Calling has not been doing really good with losing their tag titles uh, but we will see London Calling later tonight in a co in our co-main event but Fatback Greasy really wants to become a champion um, very, very soon, but Johnny B. Byrne has been on a really good, uh, somewhat of a winning streak after coming back from injury. So we'll have to see how that all goes down here tonight on EOW Wednesday Night Mayhem. 
And don't forget, Michael Miner, Fatback Greasy won that number one contender match last week uh, to face the Predator in a television championship match. And also, Johnny B. Byrne was added to that match after beating Somali and Joe last week from the owner announced that the Predator, Johnny B. Byrne, and Fatback Greasy will be in a triple threat match at Unstoppable for the television championship. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled for a one fall. Introducing first, he is from London, England, Fatback Greasy. Yes, I bet the Predators backstage watching this match uh, between these two men that will be in the triple threat match for the television championship. Don't forget, the Predator will defend his World Heavyweight Championship in a TLC match against Cameron Collins in the main event here tonight. I cannot wait to see how that all goes down tonight in our main event. And if Cameron Collins loses, it's not going to look good for him not being in the future. Can Cameron Collins become the next World Heavyweight Champion in our main event later tonight? We'll have to see and find out. But ladies and gentlemen, our show is brought to you by Raise Energy. If you want Raise Energy, go to RaiseEnergy.com and put in code TWF Network 87. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent. He is from Burger King, Johnny B. Burn. Johnny B. Byrne, ladies and gentlemen, really wants to become the television champion after defeating, after beating Samoli and Joe last week. Can that all go down at Unstoppable in a triple threat match for the television championship? And that was Johnny B. Byrne's first ever win since his win from the tournament. Yes, it was. I mean, what? not losing the tournament for the television title then getting injured from Willie Joe with that maneuver that Willie Joe did on um, Johnny B. Byrne and injured him and then coming back and getting that victory and getting the number one contendership shot at the T at EOW World, uh, World Television Championship. Here we go, Fatback Greasy, Johnny B. Byrne. This is a preview match. And one of the things that Fatback Greasy is going to have to watch out for with Johnny B. Byrne in this match is the end of Burger King. Yes, he has to watch out for that end of Burger King. But ladies and gentlemen, the keys to victory for this match, Fatback for Fatback Greasy, he's got to hit, can hit if he can hit the greasy forearm or the greasy uh, splash. We'll have to see if what he can use for to beat Johnny B. Byrne. The only way for Johnny B. Byrne to win his match is to hit that end of Burger King. Can he hit it on Fatback Greasy out of nowhere? That would be something weird. That would be something cool to see. But we'll have to wait and see how this all goes down. Look at this. Johnny B. Byrne taking over this match. But Fatback Greasy with that clothesline. Nice clothesline there from Fatback Greasy, but look at that nice uppercut from Johnny B. Byrne and nice reversal there from Fatback Greasy with a nice DDT to Johnny B. Byrne. Johnny B. Byrne rolls out to the outside of the ring here. They're right here in front of us at color commentary. And you gotta you gotta worry about that uh, brass knuckles that uh, Johnny B. Byrne uses too. Yeah. Because he could use it here tonight on EOW Wednesday night. Whoops, sorry about that. Just remember, he did use that a while back, but can he use it again? Oh, nice maneuver there from Fatback Greasy. Nice kick there from Fatback Greasy. It's Fatback Greasy trying to I thought to take he was about to power bomb him into turnbuck. Yeah, I thought so too. So we have Fatback Greasy working on the arm of Johnny B. Byrne there. Johnny yes, B. Byrne's is. laid out. Oh, Fatback Greasy there, Fat Michael. Fatback Greasy going for that greasy um, leg maneuver, but got it 
uh, break, um, rope break, a nice splash, a nice frog splash from Fatback, one, two, and a kick out at two. And Fatback Greasy there, Michael, he's taking advantage, uh, Johnny B. Byrne hasn't even had any offense in this match. Yes, he has, and he hasn't had any offense in this match at all, but here goes Fatback Greasy, he's going to hit that greasy flying elbow. It connected. Can he win this match? Tries to go for the pin here. One, two. Oh, a two and a half count. Fatback Greasy's not happy. Thought that was a three count. Can Johnny B. Byrne even get any advantage? Can he get up? Fatback's just taking over. Yes, he is taking over this whole entire match. Look at this. Fatback Greasy going for, oh, a nice maneuver there. From Fatback Greasy. Johnny B. Byrne reversed that. Finally, he's getting some advantage. Yes, he is in this match. Johnny B. Byrne trying to prove that he can become the EOW uh, television champion. One and a kick out at one. He should have went to the top rope and did an elbow drop or something. Yeah, because that's what he's famous for, his elbow drop. Look at this, Fatback Greasy, but a nice reversal from Johnny B. Byrne right to that leg. Oh, hits that choke slam, back, uh, choke slam into a backbreaker. Johnny B. Byrne needs to hit that end of Burger King. Can he hit it here tonight? Nice maneuver there. He's got to keep Fat back down if he wants to win. Yes, he does. Two and a kick out at two. Oh, that was the end of Burger King. Oh, was it? Look at this. Johnny B. Bird trying to go. For, oh, trying for something. Gets an elbow to the face there. Oh, nice reversal there from Fatback Greasy with a nice suplex. He's now taunting these fans here tonight. Here, here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. This Fatback was trying to go for something, but it gets reversed though from Johnny B. Byrne. Jo oh, Fatback Greasy with a backbreaker. And look at this. Fat, fatback trying to go for an armbar, but no. Gets his foot on the rope there. A nice slap there. Now he's trying to go for the calf killer, but no. He's too close to the ropes there. To even um, submit Johnny B. Byrne. He's trying to do everything he can to get that submission in, in or trying to hurt Fatback Greasy or trying to hurt Johnny B. Byrne. Look at this. Nice arm breaker there from Fatback Greasy. What the hell? Fatback Greasy doing a dance here in the middle of the ring. This isn't a dance competition here there, Fatback. Ooh, nice trip up there. Look at He's Johnny doing B. dance now. Look at Johnny B. Byrne. He's going to hit that end of Burger King. And a Burger King goes oh, for the no. pin. One, two. Oh, a two and a half count from Johnny wow. B. Byrne. Oh, man, nice kick out there from Fatback Greasy. Look at this, Trankle for someone. Ooh, nice elbow right to the face. I wouldn't be talking to fans there, Johnny B. Burn. Use the Fat whopper. Greasy. Use that whopper punch. Fatback Greasy with that DDT. Oh, what the hell that was. I guess he completely missed him. Oh, here we go. Fatback Greasy going for the greasy combo here. To either going to put on that greasy clash or the greasy forearm but look at this oh and then to a nice neck breaker there Johnny B. Burns favoring the head and you got to realize that's he's got a, he's had concussions from Willie Joe there Ooh. so he's favoring the head yes nice full Nelson into a stomach uh, maneuver there look at this fat Brad greasy but Johnny B. Burns 
with a reversal there into a reverse DDT. Now Johnny B. Byrne drags him to the middle of the ring. What is he doing? Oh, come on. Johnny B. Byrne going for that dirty pin, but Fatback kicks out before he can even do it. And look at that backhand into an elbow. Nice slap there into the corner. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fatback Greasy going for a superplex to the outside. This is not good. Oh, my God. Oh. 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 A superplex to the outside. Yes, this is hopefully awesome. Hopefully, Johnny B. Byrne is. Hopefully, Johnny B. Byrne is okay there because he just come back from injury. Yes, he did. But look at this, Johnny B. Byrne trying to get back into the ring, but Fatback's not letting him get back into the ring. Fatback Reezy's guy get back in the ring. The refs at five. Going right for that head. And what do you call that move there, Michael? The dirt what that dirty pin that Johnny B. Byrne used? What does he call it? The dirty whopper pin? Yep, the dirty whopper pin. But look at this. Fatback one, two, and a kick out at two and a half. Fatback's like, what do I gotta do to win this match? Picks up Fatback Greasy, but Johnny B. Byrne with a nice reversal. Almost threw him into the ref. Was trying to go for that choke slam, but no, gets a power bomb for his measure and goes in for a knee drop. Oh. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I had a sneeze there. Fat back Greasy going in for that neck breaker again, right into the back of that neck. Now, Fat back Greasy trying to figure out what he can do here, but no, I guess he was trying to go for that knee maneuver but look at this Johnny B. Byrne with a choke slam into a backbreaker goes for the pin one two and a two count oh. look at this Johnny B. Burns gonna go for the end of Burger King can he hit the end of Burger King right here oh no gets reversed Fatback Greasy reverses it into a nice suplex there. Now all Fatback Greasy's got to do is hit that Greasy forearm or the, Greasy's, uh, the Greasy Clash instead of dancing here. Oh, he's waiting for him to get up. Oh, nice punch there to the back. Uh oh What kind of dance moves that, Michael? I don't know. Greasy going for a power bomb. Can he win this? One, two... Three and Fatback Greasy wins it. Back to the losing streak for Johnny B. Burrow. Yeah, can Fatback Greasy become the new television champion this Sunday? But what just. What? The guns just hit Paul White with a steel chair. What the hell? Huh, that's weird. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Anyways. I don't know what he's talking about, but... Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Fatback Greasy. Fatback Greasy, hey, ladies and gentlemen. You said this Sunday, Michael. I don't think it's this Sunday. Oh, sorry. Uh, can Fatback Greasy become the champ, uh, television champion in three weeks from tonight? <laughs> We'll have to wait and see. Or three weeks from this Sunday. Can he win that title? But ladies and gentlemen, Billy Bob, I think it's about time you go and get ready for your match. Oh. Yeah, because i got to go beat down to Willie Joe, that stupid certified magician, and show the world I'm the best commentator in the world. Not like you, Michael Miner. I'm already in the ring. i got to go. i got to go. Bye, ladies and gentlemen. All right, well, Billy Bob gets into the ring, into the steel cage as it's lowered down. We have here with us uh, the owner of EOW, Travis Neely. How are you doing, good sir? I guess while we're waiting for Travis Neely to get in here, we're going to go ahead and start this match. And here we go inside of a steel cage. And as Willie Joel's trying to climb 
to the top of the steel cage, but an elbow drop, but misses to Billy Bob. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, that this match had to start from right here uh, because of the whole thing that was going on with the production crew. Oh, try to go for a back kick, but Travis Neely, you here, good sir. We'll try and go for a punch there to Willie Joe. I'll try and go for a clothesline into a nice nice reverse move there picks up Billy Bob Billy Bob and these two stuck inside this steel cage with a nice suplex there Willie Joe picks up Billy Bob but Billy Bob on a nice trip oh trying to break the hand of Willie Joe nice elbow there look at this throws him up against the ropes oh a nice spinning elbow right to the face trying to go for the pin here one two and a kick out at two Billy Bob's trying to take over this match look at this oh nice slap hand there Willie Joe with a nice this is the elbow. owner Travis Neely am I on Michael yes you're on one and a kick out at one uh, sorry that the production crew must not be doing really good with the uh, video here look at this Willie Joe throws Billy Bob into the steel cage yeah, and I'm upset about we didn't get no entrances. I'm going to have to have a talk with the production crew. And, man, Billy Bob just got thrown into the cage, man. He could be injured right there. Yeah, look at this. Billy Bob with that DDT. And Billy Bob's going to climb that cage. Remember, this is pinfall submission or climbing the cage. As Billy Bob's trying to get his footing here to try to get to the top of the steel cage. But, no. Willie Joe is trying to chase him down. And look at this, going to chase him down. Michael Meyer, oh. I have a little issue about you. Why didn't you oh. get all the women participants right? Uh, I do apologize. That was my fault. But look at this. Billy Bob, is he going to win this? He's got one leg over and it looks like Billy Bob's going to win this match. Really? Oh my goodness. Billy Bob's going to have wow. two wins over Willie Joe. Billy Bob with the victory. Wow, in this steel cage match. What a victory for Billy Bob. Congratulations to Billy Bob. Hits him with that DDT and climbs over the steel cage. Congratulations to Billy Bob. Well, we got to hear Billy Bob's mouth after this match. Hmm. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your winner, Billy Bob. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a victory for Billy Bob here tonight. Oh, that's cool. How much longer are you going to be? It's going to be a while. I still got a couple more matches left. But Billy Bob, what, what the hell? Oh, come on, Billy Bob. You won the match. You won the steel cage. Oh, come on, Billy Bob. Oh, no, this is not going to happen. This is not going to happen. I'll be right back. I'll, I'll be right back. Where are you Travis going, Nelly. Michael? I'll be right back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Willie Joe's in the middle of the ring, and Billy Bob's getting a steel chair. He is going to hit Willie Joe. Is he going to end the career of Willie Joe? Well, who is that? Who is that? Oh, Michael Miner. Michael Miner showed up and saved Willie Joe. Holy crap, ladies and gentlemen. Did you just see that? We just went to uh, just cut from the match and went to graphics, and Michael Miner... Saved Willie Joe from uh, Billy Bob ending his career, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Miner, uh, Billy Bob got out the ring and he he uh, went to the back. And uh, you know what? That's that's crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's right, Billy Bob. You get your ass in the back. 
Sorry, I had to do that. That 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 was disrespectful for what Billy Bob just did. He was just about to hit poor Willie Joe in the middle of the ring with a steel chair. I had to intervene and get into that that in the middle of that fight. I don't care if Billy Bob's out of here for tonight. I really don't care about him. I'll do product. I'll do the damn show by myself. That was disrespectful for what he did. He knows that at Unstoppable, I'm gonna beat him. Holy crap, ladies and gentlemen. Michael, you... I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. But ladies and gentlemen, coming up next is the co-main event of the evening. It is um, London Calling taking on um, Full Throttle, I think it is, correct? Uh, it's been a while That's since... That's right, uh, yep. Oh, yeah, Full Throttle of Hayden... Uh, Hayden and uh, Stephen Smith um, in this match here tonight as uh, the call uh, London calling trying to get another victory uh, after dev after losing the tag team titles to Lizard Lick Towing uh, I hope sometime in the near future you can give them another title shot at the EOW tag titles there Travis Neely yeah, they're going to get their last chance challenge for the Tag Team Championships. And I will go ahead and announce this on commentary tonight. A big announcement from the owner of EOW uh, that London Collin will get their last chance challenge on the Fallout episode of Wednesday Night Mayhem right after Unstoppable. So they get their shot. So whoever wins the championships, if Lizard Luke Tolan retains, or the Fry Daddies become the champions, those the champions face London Collin in their last chance challenge. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get into the ring here. We're live in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh, looks like coming out first is going to be... Let's see who's coming out first. Michael Champ, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your co-main event tag team action. Introducing team number one, Alex Quinn, Eddie Williams, London Calling. London Calling, ladies and gentlemen, uh, making their way to the ring, trying to prove here to Travis Neely that they deserve to be the tag team champions here in EOW. Hold on, Michael Miner. What? Oh, I'm getting commotion. There's commotion in the back. Hold on. What's going on? Tell me. Tell me. Okay. Okay. I am getting word, Michael Miner, that Billy Bob and Chelsea Diamond are upset after what happened tonight, and they, and they have left the building they are gone they're not going to come back tonight billy bob is very upset he told chelsea diamond they have to leave and they're back they're going back to the hotel they're not in the building tonight at all for the rest of the night and michael minor i will be on commentary for the rest of the evening good i hope his hope him and his little his little girlfriend does leave that was disrespectful for what he did tonight. But anyways, back to what I was doing. Michael Champ, take it away. Well, ladies and gentlemen, introducing team number two. At total combined weight of eight of 650 pounds, Hayden Stephen Smith, full throttle. Ladies and gentlemen, full throttle here tonight to make a statement, making their debut after... Almost won the uh, Fatal 4-Way Tag Team match last week for a chance at the EOW Tag Team titles for Unstoppable, but they lost. Um, but they almost had a chance of becoming the champ. Uh, they almost had a chance at the titles, but they're here tonight to prove that they can become Tag Team Champions in the near future. And I want to say this, Michael Miner, after this tag team championship match, I'm getting in the ring and I have a big announcement for a big match next week there, Michael. All right, can't wait to hear that. Alex Quinn and Hayden Dawson starting off this match. Nice belly-to-belly -belly suplex there from Alex Quinn 
to Hayden Doss and picks up Hayden Doss trying to go for a punch there but gets a reverse knee right into the chest there oh nice suplex there from Alex Quinn Alex Quinn picks up Hayden Smith or Hayden Dawson takes him over by Eddie Williams but Hayden Dawson with a reversal there he was going to try to go for a kick but decided to throw him over to the other corner by his partner oh, wait a second his partner decided to leave the ring I don't know what that was all about. Nice stomp there from Hayden Dawson to Alex Quinn. Oh, a nice neck breaker there. Oh. I mean, while we're watching this great tag team match, I mean, tonight in the main event, your boy Cameron Collins versus the Predator in a TLC match for the World's Heavyweight Championship. Uh, I mean, what, what are your thoughts on... Uh, Putting your boy in the TLC match. If he doesn't win, then that's not going to look good for the future. That's right. That's what I mean. I had to put Cameron Collins in this match, in this TLC match. I told him, I said, this is the last chance for you, Cameron Collins. If you lose once again to the Predator and not win the EOW uh, World's Heavyweight Championship, you're out of the future. We can always find somebody else to replace him. It's not that hard, Michael Miner. The future reigns forever. Yes, they do, but I mean, how cool would it be for um, in two months from now? I mean, we got Soul Survivor coming up in the month of November. Team EOW versus Team W uh, TWF. I mean, you got a tough, uh, tough uh, picks for your teams coming up very That's soon. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, Michael Miner. We will reign supreme at Soul Survivor because EOW is the number one brand on the TWF network. Not no Monday Night Chaos. We're the best. EOW is the best show on this channel. And I will pick the best superstars, the best stars that I know will support Ooh, nice. EOW all the way to the win for at Soul Survivor, Michael. All right, nice neck breaker there from uh, Eddie Williams, but Hayden Dawson, I'm, or sorry, it's um, looks like in the ring right now. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen, I was a little off there. It's um, Stephen Smith in the ring now. Nice uh, punch to the back there, but ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, Travis Neal, you and you and myself will be on AEW um, Dino, uh, AEW Slam Zone for All Out Prediction Championship um, Championship Show. I mean, you got between both of us, we're gonna have a damn good uh, showing tomorrow night. Yeah, I can't wait to be a part of that show there, Michael. It's going to be an epic show to predict all out. I can't wait. And you know, I will be the first ever. I will be the first ever prediction champion. You can bet on that, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, but we'll have to see how that all goes down tomorrow night. But Oh, nice. wait. Well, hold on. Hold on. What? Let me do a little throwback. I will be the first ever prediction champion. Facts. Okay, there. All out. And I'm just saying, in this tag team match, we have full throttle in London Collin. I'm watching this match very closely right now, Michael. Full throttle is is showing uh showing like they have what it takes to be tag team champions. You know, I'm eyeing them. I'm, I'm, I, I see that they're wanting, they're wanting this opportunity. And you know what? They might get the opportunity soon if they can come up with the win tonight. Yes, that would be really good to see uh, this team getting something. Look at that DDT from Hayden Dawson and Alex Quinn trying to get a tag. But no, Hayden Dawson making sure they don't get a tag there. Nice, oh, nice knee drop right to the face of Eddie Williams. I bet Lizard like towing and uh, Fry Daddies are watching this match thinking, I don't think we should face London Calling. But look at this, nice double team here. Oh, into a nice 
spinning elbow and then look at this Stefan Smith saying deletion here he's going to try to go for the final coffin And what a show we've had so far here on Monday Night Chaos. And I heard Johnny B. Byrne is not too happy with his loss tonight. But I heard in the back that he said he will be ready at Unstoppable. So will we see an upset at Unstoppable with Johnny B. Byrne as the new television champion? I don't know, but I really hope somebody beats the Predator for the EOW Television Championship. Uh, I mean, no, but I'm tired of the Predator. He just needs to go. I, I wish I could fire him, but I have contract uh, issues that if I do, he could, you know, sue me or EOW uh, being liable. So, you know what? It's kind of hard with that situation there, Michael. Yeah, it's got to be really hard for that situation there. If you do fire him, he'll, um, yeah, see you guys. And I really don't want to see that happening because uh, that would be bad for EOW and for all the shows. But, oh, nice DDT there from Alex Quinn. And the referee tonight, I thought I fired that referee a long time ago. I don't know. <laughs> Guess he How's he here? But anyway, he has a last chance too, and I guess this is his last chance. Ah, there you go. Just give a guy a chance. That's right. All I gotta do is believe. No. He's out. I, I would never hire him. <laughs> yes, you did. Two, three, and London calling with the victory. What London and Colin, they get their last chance championship or their match of the championship. Like I said, whoever wins at Unstoppable, they face the chance, but full throttle, even though they lost tonight, I'm impressed. Yes, we are. They, I am really impressed with these guys, but congratulations to London Calling for the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner of the match, London Calling. London Calling with the victory here tonight. Congratulations to them. But ladies and gentlemen, coming up next is your main event of the evening for the TWF World Heavyweight Championship TLC match. It is your boy Hang on, there. Michael. I got to get in. Hold on. I got to get in the ring for my special announcement. You remember? All right. Yep. Go right ahead. Go ahead. All right. I'll be, I'll be back here at the announce table in just a second. Hold on. Here we go. All right. Give me the mic. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your owner of EOW, Travis Neely, and I have a big announcement for the main event for the special Thursday Night Mayhem next week, and it's a can't-miss main event, ladies and gentlemen. After what went down tonight, after the steel cage match, and Billy Bob attacking, trying to attack Willie Joe, but color commentator Michael Miner made the save and helped Willie Joe uh, before he uh, got uh, his career ended by Billy Bob. So I am making a special attraction main event next week that is can't miss. It's going to be the team of Willie Joe and Michael Miner taking on the team of Billy Bob and a partner of his choosing. So everyone will find out just who Billy Bob picks when that person comes out with him next week in the main event. So I hope everybody tunes in to see this special attraction main event. Michael Miner, Willie Joe, the certified magician, versus Billy Bob, and a mystery partner of his choosing. That's happening next week, main event, Thursday Night Mayhem. Tune in, ladies and gentlemen. 
and I'm going right back to commentary because it's now the last chance for Cameron Collins for the future. Let's get on to the main event. <laughs> yeah, Yuri, Yuri, no, he's not going to find a partner for our match next week. But ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, the main event of the evening. It is the EOW World's Heavyweight Championship hanging above the ring here for a TLC match. Uh, now we got Travis Neely back on the color commentary. I cannot wait for next week to beat the crap out of him for what he's done to those guys. But what a match we have here tonight. Main event, your boy. That's right. If he loses tonight, I'm going to get in the ring and I'm going to say, you're done, Cameron Collins. You're not going to be with the future anymore. And he has to give up that T-shirt as well, Michael Miner. Yeah, that would be bad if he has to give up that T-shirt. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, here we go. World Heavyweight Championship. Let's just go ahead and uh, get past this uh, loading screen from our production crew here. All right, Michael Champ, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. It is a TLC match for the TEOW World Heavyweight Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing opponent number one, Cameron Collins. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Cameron Collins, a part of the future here tonight. Can he win this match here tonight and maybe become the new EOW World Champion? Have to wait and see. Yeah, it's going to be cool. But like I said, if he doesn't win... And he done, he's done, and he knows it. He knows this is his last chance. And it could be possibly his last match ever in EOW history. So I could just fire him altogether, not only from the future, but the entire company. He, he might have to find another job. So he better be on his A game tonight, Mike. Yes, I hope he can get on his A game. But ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, he is the EOW World Heavyweight Champion, the Predator. The Predator, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring without the title hanging above the ring. I mean, Travis, you might be looking looking at the champ there, but... Let's we'll have to see how this all goes down tonight. Yeah, my enemy that doesn't want to go away. You can't get rid of this guy. It's like you beat him down, he comes back. You beat him down, he comes back. It's like, just go away. Just go back to Area 51 where you belong. Well, let's have to see how this goes down. Look at that World's Heavyweight Championship as it's hanging above the ring. Here we go, Cameron Collins, the Predator, bell rings, and here we go. Nice move there, look at, oh my god, a stump right on that stomach from Cameron Collins from the Predator. Come on. Can he try to win this match, and look at this, Cameron Collins just throws him into the corner. Oh, try to go for a double knees, but miss into a hurricanrana. As Cameron Collins is trying to break down the big man himself, the Predator, so he can grab the steel, uh, the, the ladder, and retrieve that TW, the EOW World, um, World's Heavyweight Title. Ooh, close! Ooh, nice maneuver there from. Look at this! A nice, ooh, knees right to the face. Of the predator. That's what he needs to do. He needs Ooh. to beat him down. Predator with a nice trip up into a face slam. A front face slam. A nice stomp on the chest there. Look at this. Predator with a big punch right to the face. Oh, come on. Predator picks up Cameron Collins like he's a rag doll and just throws him over. 
Stop. Look at this. Predator going to the outside, grabbing a table. Is he going to use that table on Cameron Collins? Oh, a nice move there, but that didn't budge. The Predator, Predator with a nice punch right to the face. Picks him up. Looks like he's going for that face slam bomb. Oh, right on that face. I don't know what the Predator's doing now. He's picking up the table. Is he going to set it? Oh, no. He's setting it up in the corner. Like he's about to put Cameron Collins through that table. But look at this. Cameron Collins throws him into the table. Come Cameron on, get Collins. Up. Look at this. Oh, right into that, right into that table. And that table oh. just exploded. There we go. There we go. Oh, try and go for a now maneuver you, there, but Now he needs to go get the ladder and, and go picks up him for up, the bell. Look at this. Cameron Collins with a DDT. Now Cameron Collins needs to do is get to the outside and grab a, a ladder. But no, Cameron Collins is going to go for his finisher. Oh, look at this. A big roundhouse kick right to the face. Keep yeah, him down, this. keep him down. Kicks right to the face of the Predator. Cameron Collins is trying everything he can to keep the Predator down. Now Cameron Collins needs to do is get to the outside and get a ladder and climb that ladder to get that title. But no, the Predator gets up. Oh, nice elbow there from Cameron Collins. Cameron Collins with a nice slap and then a hurricanrana. With a oh, uppercut from the Predator. Predator throws him to the outside. Oh, right, right in here in front of us. The Predator goes to the outside and grabs a steel la a a ladder. Throws the ladder into the ring. Looks like he's going to try to retrieve the World Heavyweight Championship. Cameron Collins better get up. And look at this. He gets up. Come on, get in the ring, oh, Cameron. Cameron Collins throws the Predator into the steel ladder and does a um, Russian leg sweep. But Predator just throws him over. Oh, no, he's going to go for that miss Climb to the, the hand. Climb the ladder, Cameron. Predator's got that miss to the hand as he picks up Cameron Collins. I don't know what he's doing. He's doing a ring throw. Oh, the rope throw. Come on. And look at this, the Predator climbing that ladder to retrieve what nice belongs over. to him. But no, well, look at Cameron, Cameron Collins. Cameron if is you up. Lose, you're done. Cameron Collins goes to the top of the ladder here. Oh, a nice face bash. Oh, another face bash. Oh. Look at this. Come on. Back and forth punches Knock from both off. men. Look at this. Oh my god, Predator, no! Oh, gets thrown off the ladder! And Come I think on! The, I think the Predator landed on his head. Look at this, Cameron Collins trying to get that title off. Oh. Come on! Come on, Cameron! And Cameron Collins... Come on! Cameron Collins is... Come on! And Cameron Collins is your new world's heavyweight champion! Yes. Con yes. Congrats. That's right. He knew. He knew. Congratulations to Cameron Collins, your new world heavyweight champion. That's right. He knew it would have been the end of him tonight. And he brings the gentlemen, back Here's your the winner future. and new. EOW World Heavyweight Champion Cameron Collins Ladies and gentlemen, what a victory for Cameron Collins becoming the new World's Heavyweight Champion I'm wondering what his challenger is going to be at the pay-per-view at Unstoppable but we'll find out in the near future uh, later on next week or the week after but ladies and gentlemen congratulations to Cameron Collins uh uh, Travis Neely, thank you so much for joining us here on Color Commentary. But, ladies and gentlemen, that no is problem, it for... Michael.
that is it for EOW Wednesday Night Mayhem. We will see you guys next Thursday night for a special edition of EOW Thursday Night Mayhem. I'm Michael Miner. That's Travis Neely. Good night, everybody. And Billy Bob, <laughs> you got what you deserve.